Hello friends, this is Rajesh Kumar and welcome you all in your YouTube channel Eager Lot. Today I am going to tell you about the 10 most gruesome torture techniques from medieval Europe. You know, during the Middle Age, torture was considered a legitimate way to extract confessions, punish offenders and perform executions. Some methods were considerably crueler than others and these 10 being among the most barbaric and ritual. Let us see 10 torture techniques of that time. Number 1. The Judas Cradle also called the Judas Shear, this Italian invention was particularly cruel. Using ropes, a prisoner would be lowered above the pyramid-shaped seat with the point inserted into the anus or vagina. Victims would be tortured by intense pressure and stretching of the orifice, resulting in permanent damage. In many cases, the victims would scrum to ribs in the muscle tissue that would later become infected. Weights would be added to facilitate the effect often resulting in death by impalement. Number 2. Saw Torture This was a form of execution in which a living person was sawed in half, either longitudinally or transversely, through the center body mass. This was done either by sawing the individual in half across or along the body length. Number 3. Pier of Anguish This heinous contraption was used during the Middle Ages as a way to torture women who were accused of facilitating a miscarriage. It was also used to punish liars, blasphemers and homosexuals. The device was inserted into one of prisoner's orifices, the vagina for women, the anus for homosexuals and the mouth for liars and blasphemers. The device featured four metal leaves that slowly separated from each other as the torturer could use it to tear the skin or expand it to its maximum size to mutilate the victim. It rarely caused death but was often followed by other torture methods. Number 4. Breaking Wheel Also known as the Catherine Wheel, this torture device was used to torture and kill prisoners for public executions. The device was typically a large wagon wheel with radical spokes. Offenders were lashed to wheel and their limbs beaten with a club of iron cudgel. The gaps in the wheel allowed the limbs to give way and break. Disturbingly, the survival time after being broken could be extensive with some accounts of victims living for several days prior to succumbing to their mortual injuries. Impaliment If you were Vlad, the impaler, more commonly known as Dracula of 15th century Romania, you simply impaled your victims by forcing them to sit on a sharp and thick pole. The pole was then raised upright and the victims was left to slide further down the pole by his or her own weight. Often the poles would emerge through the sternum so that its tip could be placed under the chin to prevent further sliding. It could take the victim 3 days to die. Vallad did this to between 20,000 to 3 lakhs. It is said he enjoyed having a meal while watching impalements. Number 6. Head Crusher Pretty self-explanatory. The device which is basically a vice for head slowly crushes the skull and facial bones. Even if the torturer stopped before death, permanent damage to the facial muscles and structure would occur. The rack. It consisted of a wooden frame, usually with two ropes fixed to the bottom and another two tied to a handle in the top. As the torturer turned the handle, the ropes would pull the victim's arms, eventually dislocating bones with a loud crack. If the torturer kept turning the handlers, some of the limbs were torn right off the body. In the latter middle age, a new variant of rack appeared. A spikes were added that penetrated the victim's back when he or she were forced to lie on the table. As the limbs were pulled apart, so was the spinal cord increasing not only the physical pain but the psychological pain of knowing that even if she or he were to survive mobility of any kind would be lost forever. Number 8. Coffin Torture This was one of the most dreaded forms of torture during the medieval period. The accused were placed inside a caged coffin, rendering them completely immobile. 
the period of time was determined by the crime with some infractions like blasphemy punishable by death victims were often put on public display where they would be mocked and abused by angry locals number 9 breast reaper this one's particularly nasty not that the other items on the list aren't also known as the iron spider it was mainly used on women who were accused of adultery self abortion heresy blasphemy or accused of being witches it was also used for interrogations the device which was often heated during torture contained four claws which were used to slowly and painfully rip off the breasts the instrument would be latched onto a single breast of the woman blood sometimes splattered onto her children if the woman did not die she would be disfigured for the rest of her life number 10 knee splitter popular during the inquisition this device consisted of two spike wood blocks which were placed in front of and behind the knee the blocks which were connected by two large screws would be turned and made to close towards each other destroying the knee underneath the technique would render the knees useless the number of spikes on the blocks varied from 3 to 20 often depending on the nature of crime and the status of prisoner